Hi, good morning. This is Jean-Luc. And uh, today I would like to talk to you about digital transformation in banking and in uh, financial services. I'm still in Manila, uh, flying back today. Uh, I spent the last two days talking about uh, digital transformation to a lot of customers here in the Philippines uh, during a seminar called the Digital Future arranged by uh, Ateneo University, one of the largest universities here in the Philippines. And uh, here now over the next four or five minutes, I'll try to summarize what I talked about during these two days. So digital is really uh, impacting every single industry and uh, startups are disrupting industries. Now, when we look at banking and financial services in particular, we have seen a huge amount of uh, um, you know, startups coming in, uh, addressing consumers with different types of value propositions. Um, during the seminar, I started hence to talk about how the whole industry, the banking industry, the finances sector is being unbundled. So you have startups coming in, providing solutions for lending, others providing solutions for financial services, um, helping you with your personal finances, investment, uh, payment, and so on. Um, for people to get a, a good understanding of what this actually is and what this means, uh, I really started giving uh, a lot of case studies, a lot of examples, and uh, really focused on the things uh, that these startups uh, come up with in terms of providing value to end users, to consumers. Uh, so I mentioned companies like Klarnar. Uh, Klarnar is a Swedish uh, unicorn. They're actually pretty old. They're, they were founded in uh, 2005, um, provided uh, payment for uh, uh, you know, e-commerce companies and provided uh, uh, payment uh, solutions as part of development of, of, of websites and so on. Uh, but really what these guys have done over the last uh, you know, 10, 15 years is growing to, uh, to a machine, to, to a revenue machine. They, uh, today they have 60 million subscribers or you know, customer accounts. Um, they have been uh, in 2018 growing by uh, 36%. They have been uh, transacting for more than 26 billion dollars on the platform. So it's not, you know, it's not a, a startup anymore that has future ideas. This is, this is already a big, big company. And uh, when you look at the type of things uh, and type of values they've been providing to consumers, um, one of the things uh, which is really, really important in e-commerce is um, the notion of uh, instant financing or alternative uh, payment methods. Um, and that, because why is that important and where is that providing value? Uh, it's providing value because basically uh, a lot of consumers actually abandon their shopping carts while doing e-commerce. So when you have the option to pay later, uh, to split your bill, uh, to have different options for paying, you're actually much, much more likely uh, to push that button and, and, and purchase. So Klarna, one of these unicorns, but also providing clear value for consumers. Uh, another example I gave um, is a company, a German unicorn called N26. Uh, it's a pure digital bank. And um, if you look at what they're, what they're doing, what these guys have been doing, uh, very much it's uh, providing a pure, pure digital bank. Um, and what is a pure digital bank? It's a bank that basically doesn't have any branches. So they provide a lot of uh, services similar to banks, but everything is done in a digital way. And it does start uh, with, the time, with the opening of bank accounts. So they, they have different uh, mechanisms, uh, different ways to basically identify your, your, you as a uh, as a person know who you are so basically doing the KYC process uh, doing a, you know with picture passport and selfie uh, you're starting a video call there's different options to do that but basically uh, the point I want to make is that uh, they can open an account in less than 10 minutes so they claim that they can open a bank account in about eight minutes so while uh, Klarna for instance started a very very uh, or provided very clear value to the user in terms of a new business model uh, companies like N26 they're really providing a unique and awesome user experience they're considered 
the best uh, best banking app today. So user experience, changing business models, these are the type of things startups are coming with. And I'm not talking about technology. You know, nowadays uh, when you hear startups uh, talking about what they're doing, uh, they would usually start, oh, we are doing this on the blockchain or whatever. Who cares? It's really about providing value to consumers. And some of these unicorns have really shown it. Uh, another example is uh, Revolut. Uh, Revolut is providing, uh, similarly, a mobile digital bank, but, but some of the things which are really awesome is that you, you, you create or you can have uh, a wallet which is a multi-currency wallet which allows you uh, basically to transfer currencies uh, at interbank rates, so basically not getting ripped off every time you travel. Uh, you also have a physical card and that card can contain these different currencies and you don't get charged uh, when you withdraw money abroad up to a certain limit of course. Uh, again on the user experience part you can get uh, a card, uh, a virtual uh, card for shopping instantly. Um, so this is the first part of my, uh, of my video uh, and it's really about uh, how fintechs, how fintech startups have been coming in uh, in, the, uh, in the finance industry and starting to disrupt that industry. I will leave it there and I will have a follow-up video in a, in a couple of days where I will explain how banks are actually reacting to that. So please stay tuned and uh, watch the follow-up video. Uh, looking forward to your comments. I would love to hear about many more startups that are uh, providing value, providing clear value to consumers. Um, I don't want to hear so much about blockchain. Uh, there's too much talk about that. It's really what, what we care about is providing value to consumers. And this is really what, uh, what matters at the end to generate traction and to, uh, to trigger growth. Uh, looking forward to your comments and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.